you've all set goals, you've worked hard, and today we stop and celebrate your accomplishments. Many children, they grow up in a home with a white picket fence and they have a mom and a dad. I didn't have that. I grew up in the foster care system as a ward of the court. Today we are honored to have Jeremy Affelt, relief pitcher for the San Francisco Giants as our guest speaker. I want to tell you my heroes. I really appreciate uh, you being here today and to let these people honor you because you need to be honored. So I go into the Giants and I said, is there a way that I can get into the community to help fight for justice. I do the trafficking stuff within San Fran, but I, when I walk around, I see a lot of street kids. And I don't understand, you know, why I want to know their stories. What are we doing to help them? Do they have vision? Do they, do they dream? What is, what is the issue here within these kids' lives? And so they introduced me to, to Larkin Street. My mom got locked up in 2011, and so I had to sleep outside in the streets. For a whole week, I basically slept on a bus, slept outside, or didn't sleep at all. And at that time, I was still in school, so basically I had to like handle school and also be homeless. When I was 18, my mom found out that I was gay. She told me that she didn't have a gay son, and I really was flabbergasted at that. You know, the fact that you know here's someone that's supposed to love me and says that I can't live here if I am the way I am. And, you know, so I moved to San Francisco and not knowing where I would live was stuck on the street. We celebrate you extra hard and extra loud because what you've done is remarkable. Now, Larkin Street began mostly as a place to get kids off the street, to provide shelter, give them some meals, you know, stabilize them as much as possible. Over the years, what we've realized is that, that to really help, to really sort of keep a next generation of homeless adults from being created, that we have to do more. We have to prepare them for a life and we have to give them some of the, the legs to stand on that any family would. I want them to know that they have a home they can be loved in. And so to see a place like Larkin Street become that for these kids is very, very inspiring to me because not only did they show compassion, they also fought for them and they provided for them. They said, we not only care about you as a human being, we want to make sure you can go to the next level and continue to dream and continue to have, have vision for your life to become somebody great. And that's to me how you change society. That's how you do a culture change is when you have people that have learned and become somebody great, but people have helped you along the way and then you provide back. You know, when we go through tough times, you can either be the victim or you can be victorious. It's your place to choose victory. I want to be an example, a light in the dark world. The more people I can reach out to, the more that I can reach out even further. I want to be a social worker because it would be great to help others of what my experience have been and not actually like, give them the tools for them not to fail in life and actually to be successful. And you deserve to be noticed. And you are being noticed. And I hope you continue to be noticed because of the path that you guys have chosen to not be victims. Whenever you sit in your rooms at night and you feel like nobody, remember this day. You've inspired hundreds of people here. Have you inspired me? It made me feel very inspired to, to know that our choices mean something, that our inspirations and our hopes and dreams mean something. That to me is priceless.